Okay, let's walk through the steps of applying 3D foundation. This is a cream foundation. If you're not familiar, you can scroll through some of my other videos and it will all make a little bit more sense to you. A lot of you have been wanting help getting color matched. And if that is you, you can find a color match form linked up in my bio. All you need to do is upload a selfie and I can help you pick out what colors you're gonna need for your skin tone. What I'm doing is applying my main highlight shade, otherwise known as foundation, to basically anywhere on my face that a beard would grow. I'm really buffing it in, sort of blending as I go. Applying that main color on my nose. Our nose tends to be darker than the rest of our face, and so I want to apply that darker shade on my nose. As I move up higher on my face, I'm going to go in with a little bit of a lighter color. This is gonna help give some dimension to my face. So like I said, this is a highlight. A highlight is our foundation when you're talking 3D foundation. The purpose of the highlight is to do exactly that, highlight the bright places on your face. In a minute, we're gonna go in with contour and that's gonna give us dimension in our face and add back in the shadows. I'm really just pressing that in underneath my eyes. Like I said, sort of blending as we go. Okay, now you can see I've started my contour. I'm going around the perimeter of my, con of my forehead and you can see how that immediately has drawn our eye to the middle of my forehead or near my eyes. The brush here that I'm using is called the Detail Brush. This is my absolute favorite brush for contouring. And we'll get into more tips on contouring soon, but I love this so much. It helps carve out your cheekbones. It's so easy. It's so forgiving. If I can do this, anyone can. Coming in with a perfector sponge just to blend everything out, really press that into my skin, pick up any excess product. You wanna make sure your perfector sponge is a little bit damp and wrung out really well. Spraying some setting spray. And that's it. Oh, don't forget the cheek color. Going in on both sides with that. And then you're gonna see that I'm gonna come in and just deepen my contour under my cheekbones a little bit more.